Hey folks, it's Aridin again, and we're back with some Biomutant. We're gonna check out the Jagni tribe, and hopefully we're gonna dominate all the others. So, let's begin. Since hopefully the audio sounds better this time. They're at war. Your Sifu, please. You should just put one paw ahead of the other and make your way up there. The tribe is always open to a new face. Can I have their armor? Can I betray him and become the leader? The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. The Sifu is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. Little bits. The news of a cold My name's Big Bits. crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. Or even tinier bits. The wall that separates them from the other side the wasteland you came from. He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. He understands that sometimes we need to lose ourselves to find ourselves, but he's glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. No, I'm not. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Don't you talk about my Muma. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it was based on unarmed combat and the six weapons. The boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land and there are rivals in all directions. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Says fear and hatred is the only path to domination, but you already know that. So embracing that side of you and helping them vanquish the tribes and letting the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life should be an easy decision. I guess. I'll join. Just because you guys are pretty evil. He expected you'd join them. You understand that the universe runs on the principle that the one who dominates others runs the show. <laughs> The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can vanquish the other tribes. The one he wants to deal with first is the Myriad tribe. Okay. The Myriad are too good to be true. They might believe in the greater good and a code of honor, but uniting the tribes and saving the Tree of Life won't change anything. You must stop living in the past. Give me a hook and chain. I will jack them all up. 
Their kin must put an end to the war before war puts an end to them. It'll cost bruises and broken bone, but they refuse to be the victim here. They have no intention of letting this drag out, or they'll run the risk of teaching the enemy their art of war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Well, you have a you Bur a boomerang. I don't want it. Thoughts, so they want to wage a war. A war where all that's left behind is casualties. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've conquered the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu for control of their territory, tribe weapon, and kin. The only kin who count are the kin that are left standing at the end of the war. Let's focus on making that our kin, not theirs. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to okay. become omnipresent. You told me that. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, you'll pass your old village on your way to the first rival outpost, but we've got no time to be sentimental. War doesn't wait. It's always the little things you remember, and with you, it's pretty much the only thing he recalls, that you were little. All right. Exit fort. Can I, like, buy some of their armor? Because I think it looks amazing. You know, make it my colors. And I'll just be a badass. It's let me be their like ninja assassin. Can I fish? Can it I wanna fish. But I will steal. I don't care if I'm aligned with you guys or not. You got stuff. I don't even want to talk to all you. I just want to take your stuff. Found a resting place and restore health and okay. house in this game? Asks you to check out the wares. Confident you'll find everything you need here. Sure. Let's check it out. What you got? Says the place hasn't been doing as much business lately, so time to buy or sell. Close. Okay. Holy crap. Those cost a lot. Old style pan. Okay. That's what I want. No. What is this? Is this like shoulder pads? Yeah. 
Do they screw into my shoulder? Okay. I would take the foxy cap. Those look weird. And that's... Oh, okay. This looks like a saddle, not a shoulder pad. I'm okay with taking a casket with me. Coal pack. Okay. And these are cool. These are really cool. A light bulb? Clink. Scrap. Okay. You ain't got nothing I want. You might, though. Shopkeeper claims you won't be able to find better goods. Says they've got the best deals anywhere. Look and see what you might need. This has heat damage. Okay. Says it's good to meet a fellow Yin Jagni cousin. Keep ho Gotta go. Gotta go. Let's go. I wanna kill some stuff. gonna be a ninja at some point they're already saying I have I can get a shuriken sounds great better beware that's a mump up ahead they were hit hard by evolution the wonky ones especially deformed and unfurred Okay. Okay. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution. I won't keep He's going to be a rain only. for it a second.
Yeah, now that's how you do it. Damn, you ugly. That's all I found in that dumpster. Really? Do I have to go to that village? Figured since this is like the ruins of a house, I'd find some. is lost on this place but it evokes a tingling sensation there's something special about it drawing you closer let's go pee on the sign let's see As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you've become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. Who the hell is he supposed to be? He asks how you are today. Gank Then he wants you to know that if you find yourself going through bad times, you should just keep going. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. It's been on my own. Goop says some choose to be lonely because no one understands what they're going through. If that's you, he'll try to help you if you let him. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. And he'll be honored. Sure, teach me. Swim in most waters. While in very deep water, you slowly lose key energy, and when you're out of key, you're, you'll drown. Fair enough. And if you hold still, you, okay, that's good to know. You still lose it if you hold still. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? At least you learned that you'll drown if you don't swim. But you need practice. Lots of practice. Do I, like, gain skill? Great things. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. You can never try too hard. Judging by your Moomer's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. The dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that... So I've watched some streams of this, and I do think it's really cool that they make your know, Muma look perfect. just like you. Like, no matter what's... how you mutate yourself. You have... 
She'll see you at the village square. She says that's good. With a passion for learning, you'll never cease to grow. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. He's learned that things are never as bad as they seem. You'll feel better in the morning. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He thinks you're truly a kidling of your environment. That's right. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Okay. He wonders what usefulness you found. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle and the scrap you found would be a good start. All right, this is crafting. Uh. Start crafting your weapon. First, select the base. This defines what kind of weapon you will craft. There are three different kinds. Melee weapons, crush, one-handed slash, and two-handed slash. Okay. Okay, go to the handle. Okay. Rubber grip, utility. Workman. I mean, if I can make whatever the hell I want. I feel like that'd be way too long. Is that a file? That would kill you. I think that really hurt your hands. Wrap wrench. That's okay looking. That looks cool. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. I made it for my mama. He believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself. He understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. He thinks mastering the six weapon styles of Wang Fu is more than enough for anyone. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square. 
then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. She says, it's not only about this moment and where you are going. You have to find yourself first, then everything else will follow. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Okay, then are you going to teach me? meeting her on the village square and take it from there. She knows you're a free spirit, always on the move, like the wind. Because I'm a freaking kid. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. Do I get to kick him? He wants to know who you think you are. He says you're right. Nobody can tell him what he can and can't do, and that includes you. I can say I got a new weapon, guys. Didn't you see the nice shiny sword on my back? I forgot I got a fairy. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She's there for all disciples. That's her commitment as Sifu. And when she needs them, they're there for her and each other. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. Won't need excuses if you are strong in your convictions. Here's someone close to heart doing what he does best. Yo, dude. Seeing you always puts a smile on your popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. Training with Muma will make you feel better. It always does. He asks if you could help him, too, before you leave for training. He'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. Better not get pissed. Get mad at you, man. He's curious to see what you found. He's gathered so much over the years, and it's hard to remember everything. Nothing's wrong with his memory. It's just short. 
He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Says at least dirty hands are proof that you tried and that counts. That you failed this time doesn't mean you can't succeed the next. He says it's about time you learned how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. All right, gear crafting. Okay. Okay. It looks I like it. I like the crafting. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but he looks sharp on you. Agrees. At least that way it'll never go out of style. You should take it with you. Wear it to practice. Be sure your Mooma will forgive you for not wearing the traditional outfit. <laughs> He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Yeah, if you guys all let me go train. Who the hell? That's one big ass dude smoking a hookah. That is a damn. Mooma says it's about time you got here. Hopes you're as ready as you claim to be. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. Well then start. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. Wants you to prove that with some practice first. Your Mooma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Why are you proud? I did all the work. That doesn't make sense. Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. That's why you should be sure to thank him for it. Okay. says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. 
She's happy you appreciate what others do for you. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. I'll be under surveillance. You should think of it as watching over you when she can't. Surveillance. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. Says a good rest makes you ready for tomorrow. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. How do they hardwire that to my DNA? Nothing could stop Luke and Luke from setting the world on fire. Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to I mean I could if you'd let me use my uh, my blaze ability. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Nobody heard that big ass guy. Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. There's nowhere to run to this time. The time has come to stand and fight. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. She loves how brave you are, but she can't be worrying about you while she fights. This is her fight. Here it comes, the past coming to haunt the present. Ow. You leave my mommy alone. Go through fire and water to make it out of here. He is ugly. Your Mooma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. I mean, I'm not that far away. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Can I swim faster? That's what killed her. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you.
The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. Okay. And now I grow up again. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Fine. So can I move on? You know, craft weapons and modify your gear in the craft. Okay. Cool. I don't really have stuff, but, you know... Looks okay, so like it I don't could have cut anything. anything. But I did level up, so uh, let's go with. Hmm. I think we're gonna go with another strength here. Stronger every but day. next time, I think we're gonna go luck. save those points. The tribe's caught a fluffy hulk. Better watch out. It's no pet. A fluffy hulk. Okay. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. fire too. Awesome. Slash. You're half dead. Second hits. 
so hard. The unstoppable pig. It was harder than expected to take down the Fluff Hulk. They've received news a Ronin joined the tribe's ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. A group of Jagni warriors are already waiting for you at Myriad's Vespidut outpost. You should hurry there and help them storm the outpost. Show no mercy. Mercy is for the weak. The Jagni tribe seek no one's sympathy. Really? Nothing? Nothing. And this big ugly thing. Okay. Toxanol was something called a corporate juggernaut. And our world still bears the marks of the massive ecological catastrophes they inflicted upon the land. The apocalypse they caused was the end of days for their world. But for us, it was simply a beginning. Okay. An emergency box from the old days, when you needed to pack a punch to so Wow, bet that nut makes a tight fist. What the hell? A clunk fist, a powerful tool, punch through walls. Okay. Okay. Just pick it up. I, I mean, it looks cool. I did not equip. Need to equip it. Okay, super wong fu. Okay, I'm gonna go down here for a second. A clunk fist. Okay, so that's Tunnels not too bad. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? Not really. I see that. What? Okay, he's dead. You're injured. Heal me up. Stupid. 
so thing. much damage. Alright. Start on fire. Jesus. That works. I feel like that should give me something. Or I should kill those so they don't keep spawning. Side quest? That mm -hmm. notice board filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old toxinol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxinol Corporation made this place and then just threw it away when they were done with it. They threw away whole cities? Well, small ones. Places like this were cheap back in those days, and there was plenty of space. Get done with one place, you just build another. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. Just hope it's not buried. Superb loot. Ooh. You might have to make your own path. You don't say. So the narrator is the little automaton. From what I get. Great captain. Hell yeah. Finally, start getting some pieces. I want to start crafting and making some cool shit. on that sign. Oh, so I can go that way. That's towards Bricktown. Okay. You know what? Let's go to that quest for right now. Just for now. That's better armor. Okay. Looks like the Fry Sparkers knobs need to be in sync if you want to get the hardware working. Just 
Just a few moves left. Make them count. Fry Sparker. It's a Fry Sparker mindset. Boom, you got something. It's not exactly what you wanted, but you got it right away. Wow, you lucked out there. There are things out there waiting for you. You didn't say. There's a lot of loot in this place. I mean, that's good. Because that means I can start making money. A flap knot. I like that. We'll put that on. I'm old school. Oh, is that a different location? Oh, the town's up there? Okay. And I, I just went in here, didn't I? Well, maybe not exactly in here. A flush stool from the backing top. Seems like the tighteners on the piping need to be unturned correctly to drain the flush stool. Just a few moves left. Make them count. That's the kind of trouble you really want to wash away. Anti-materia. Okay. Fine flush tools. Is that just in this town? Nippon. This is so cool. I like games that let you just explore. And Let's pocket that. I just do. I do wish there was a little bit more combat as of right now. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. So I remember there was something back here I wanted to look at. Maybe that was it. It was this tall neck jacket. I'll put that on for now. Check out that thing. This is what I was looking for. There's a. You I don't look care. civilized. Guess you still want more than that. Back in the garbage. All right. I thought everything was on fire for a second. I was about to say, what the hell happened? We're going to get up here. And then I think that's where we're going to end this video. This one's going a little longer than I was expecting because that whole area. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo is holed up in the under yard here working on that mecton of his. The Toxinol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here. Big machines on rails with smokestacks that fouled the air. People wrote on those. The rails used to be filled with chugs packed tight with two leggeds, like guppos in a tin. 
You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open. All right. And we are going to do that next time. Thanks for watching. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next video.